Good morning, children. How are you all? I hope you are all fine, children. So today we are going to learn about sixth class lesson. Already we learned first lesson. Today we are going to learn second lesson. Playing with magnet. What's the lesson, children? Playing with the magnet. You all uh, enjoy to play with the magnet, for children? Yes. They are, you you will take uh, some magnets and uh, you will attach some pins and you will enjoy it, isn't it? For example, uh, you, uh, you will take some sand, isn't it? Uh, on a paper and you keep the magnet down and you will play like it. You can see some iron files are uh, running on the paper, isn't it? So you will enjoy to play with the magnet. So let us learn about magnet in detail. Okay children? So what, what is a magnet? And how the magnet was formed? Okay, and the properties of the magnet today we are going to learn. So, magnet. So, for example, if you see one, if you take one uh, pinhole cap, okay, pinhole cap, that means you can see on the top of the pinhole, you can see some pins are arranged on the pinholder. So, how the pinhole, uh, how the pinholder holding the pins, what, uh, how it is holding, do you all know? What is the reason? Do you know? So, see. Uh, what is the reason? Means the pin hole is made up of magnet. That's why the pin can attract the pin hole with the magnet can attract the pins. That's why the pins are attached to the magnet. So, why they are attracted to the magnet? So, so see. A magnet is a substance which has a tendency of attracting uh, same metals when placed near it. When it is placed to the near to the magnet, if any iron fills or iron pins, then it having the attracting power, attractive property. So they are attached to the they are attracted to the magnet. So when a uh, linear piece of a magnet suspended freely, then it always aligns in north and south. Directions. So, children, not only it having the attractive property, but also the magnet shows the north pole and south pole directions. Okay. So, the end of the bar magnet, the end of the bar magnet, for example, if you see this, uh, this magnet, the end poles, this end poles shows it. If you see this end pole, okay, this end pole, if you see, near the south, and see the end of the bar magnet, Pointing towards the north, pointing towards the north is called north pole and um, north pole. While the other end of the magnet pointing towards the south is called south pole. Uh, pointing towards the north is called north pole. Pointing towards the south is called south pole. Understood children? Not only having the attracting power and it also shows the directions. What are the directions? North pole and southward directions. Okay. Magnet attracts other magnetic materials. It also attracting other magnetic materials like iron, steel, nickel and copper. This, have, this will attract to the magnetic materials. Okay. So, they have two forces. The magnet having two forces. What is that? Pulling and pushing. It, it, it helps the magnet is used for pulling and also for pushing. Okay. So, uh, now see, uh, you are, we are all saying that magnet. So, how the magnet was formed? So, for this, we, we have a small story. Now, we are going to learn a small story about a magnet. How it is discovered. In a long back ago, around 2500 years back, a man is suffered called Magnus. Only oh, is called Magnus. Okay, he lived in a ma Magnus. So he used to take uh, uh, goats and sheep to a uh, mountains for grazing purpose. While he is taking the sheep and goats for grazing, along with him, he used to carry on a long wooden stick. Children, okay, on that or wooden stick, one iron cap is attached to the wooden stick. Okay, uh, he used to uh, go to the mountains and while the animals are grazing, uh, he used to play with the stones. He used to keep the wooden stick on the uh, stones and he used to play. Uh, uh, um, like that it is going on. 
one uh, one fine day, what happened means uh, he uh, along with the animals and uh, while uh, animals are grazing, that time he used to play with the wooden stick. The children he he kept the wooden stick in the water. In the water he kept and he is uh, he is touching the all the stones in the water in pebbles. Okay, while he is touching the uh, stones. Um, he suddenly found that somebody is pulling him. So he also he uh, with his force he pulled the stone out along with the uh, wooden stick out. When when the wooden stick came out along with the wooden stick, one stone is attached to the iron cap. Okay, so that iron cap, the stone which is attached, that stone we call as a load stone. Like that, the magnet was formed by Magnus. Okay, so this stone we call it is a natural magnet. So this natural magnet we call as load stone. So this is the story of the uh, story of the magnet children. In which year the mag uh, magnet was discovered children? In 2000, uh, 2500 years ago and discovered by Magnus. Discovered by Magnus. He discovered natural magnet called as Lord Stone. So, with the help of the Lord Stone, now the man is made for uh, four different types of um, magnets. Children. For, uh, first one is bar magnet. See, it is a straight. So, it shows the north and south poles. Okay. Uh, so, this is one kind of a magnet that is called as a bar magnet. And next one is a horseshoe magnet. It looks like a curve shape. This looks like a Shape and it is also showing the poles, north pole and south pole. And the other one is ring magnet. So, in between you can see small hole um, around it, isn't it? So, this is the ring magnet. And another one is this magnet. This, uh, this, this magnet you, you can see in the radius, in pretty colors, okay? Small uh, round shape uh, magnet. This magnet is kept. Along with that, only the radio will be. Mm, on okay, so this is the uh, 